and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I will be giving you another round of tutorial and this time, it is about how you write your methodology in your research paper in case you are pursuing a quantitative design. So what should be found in your methodology chapter? Your research methodology should comprise the specific procedures or techniques used to identify, select, process, and analyze information about a certain topic. Now, in a research paper, the methodology allows the reader to critically evaluate a study's overall validity and reliability. In this tutorial, I will discuss basic contents that you should provide in your methodology considering you are employing a quantitative research design, and these are as follows research design, population and sample size, research locale, research instrument, data gathering procedure, and statistical treatment. Let us start first with the research design. This section contains the description of the method of research used in doing the study, be it experimental, correlational, or survey design. Let's have a sample. As you can see in the sample in your research design, you should discuss here the appropriate quantitative approach employed in the study, a specific strategy of inquiry, or the chosen quantitative approach utilized with author, justification for its use, and contextualized to the study. Now, proceeding to the population and sample. This section contains the description of the sampling technique used in determining the sample size of the subject and how they were selected. Let's consider this example. As illustrated in the sample, it can be noted that the subject of the study was also defined, including the sampling technique to be used out from the total population where you can obtain the list of respondents to get the sample size. It should be emphasized like this in order to bring understanding to your reader. If possible, computation must be included in this section. Now, moving on to the research locale. In this section, you need to specify the location where you are going to conduct your study. As much as possible, you need to provide a map showing the exact location as can be shown in this sample. Now, let's proceed to another content of your methodology, and that is the research instrument. In this section, a description of the adoption, construction, and administration of instruments should be included, especially your survey instrument or test questionnaire. Likert scaling to be used should also be presented. Include discussion on validity and reliability of the instrument in case your survey instrument are self-constructed. So this is a continuation of the research instrument section as our example. Now, let's discuss the data gathering procedure or the data collection. Remember that this section tells the reader what you did and how you did it. Take a look at this example. Any error or weakness in procedures that has been discovered during the conduct of the research should be pointed out, and any consequent limitations upon the research results should be fully noted. Lastly, the statistical treatment. Describe briefly how the data collected are to be processed. If statistical techniques or tools are used, this fact should be mentioned. If one has used a technique that is, strictly speaking, not appropriate to the data, this fact should be noted and explanations should be made. It is only when the statistical technique used is new or unfamiliar that the formula is given. You can mention also to which problem statement the statistical tool is used or applied. 
that's all for today. I hope you learned something. Thank you very much for listening and watching my tutorial videos. Please support me by subscribing and sharing my video tutorials to your friends. If you have suggestions for my next vlog tutorial, do not hesitate to comment down below. God bless you everyone. This is Sergi. Until next time.